Okay, so we are going over 7.3, number two, in Ready, Set, Go. So it says, use what you know about the definition of tangent in a right triangle to find the value of tangent theta for each of the right triangles. Okay, so number two, when we're doing this, there's a couple of things that you have to understand. Remember that whenever they give you a triangle, that reference angle here, and I'm going to call him alpha, right? This reference angle alpha is very much related to your um, your theta, meaning alpha, the tangent of alpha is going to help you find the tangent of theta, meaning really they're the same because of the triangle that you built. So the very first thing that you're going to do, which they already did for you, is number one, oops, I'll try to write directions. Number one, graph the point which, or the angle, whatever they gave you. And they did that for you, so we don't have to do that. Number two, draw, oops, that's too many loops for my W, triangle. Now, they already did that for you. Now, whenever you're drawing your triangle, you're always taking the elevator to your x-axis, right? Number three, this is where you have to start because they didn't do this for you. Label your triangle. Okay. So when we label our triangle, we're labeling it based on the information that they gave us. They can't, because they gave us that point negative 16, 63. I know that this side is negative 16 because we go left 16 and we go up 63. So this side's going to be 63. Now you can think about all the things that you would, you could do next, but go back to what they're asking you. They just want to know the tangent of theta which remember that that is equal to the tangent of alpha in this case, right? So then all we have to do is go tangent and remember that the tangent um, of, an, of an angle, of some angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So after you label your triangle, oops, I should have moved this over. Hold on. You move this up here or something. Um, after you do that, then you have to, and I'm going to change colors, then you you find whatever sine, cosine, or tangent. Find whatever sine, cosine, or tangent, like use that. And then the fifth one is check your signs. Okay. So the tangent of this, in this case, is going to be 63 opposite over adjacent. So here's your answer. And then you check your signs. And then, um, so one of the, I haven't, I don't think I've talked about this in class. So let me just say it really quickly. One of the things that um, we've talked about before. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, so when I did them, I um, used the tan inverse and I solved for the like the theta, the angle is that. So yes. That was wrong. No, it's um. Let me say, like, you're not wrong, but you you like passed the finish line and you kept running. Does that make sense? Right, because I also um in my answer I did tan theta equals sixty three over or negative six like the negative sixty three over sixteen equal also equals to one hundred four point three. Yes. So you actually solved for the angle. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right. So this is negative 78 degrees. Um, and I can talk about this later, but um, this has to actually do with um, when you're solving for the angle. But here, they just wanted you to find the tangent. That's it. So once you found the tangent, so this is the tangent, then you're done. Does that make sense? Okay. So yeah, you're actually done. But I'll change the directions just so I can answer your question. If I said, okay, now that you know what the tangent of theta is, now I want you to find the angle, that's when you would bring in Desmos to solve for that angle. Now we have to kind of talk about why that angle is negative 
but we haven't gotten completely there. We've started to talk, we've started to have that conversation, but we're not completely ready to have that conversation. Does that make sense? So just kind of for now, be patient and be like, okay, I know how to solve for theta, which is a good thing because that's one of the steps that you were supposed to take away from seven point, I think 7.1 and two. So that's, you are good. Does that make sense? So during a test, because you went further than the finish line, just go back and be like, okay, now this is alpha. Wait, what did they ask me to find? Um, blah, blah, blah. To find the value of tangent theta. Oh, they didn't want me to find theta? Oh, tangent theta? And then just box up your right answer and then you should be fine. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, very good. 